My name is Jim, by the way. Oh, Dave. Hi, nice Dave. Nice to meet you. What would you care to say to the government or to anyone else? Uh, I, this is the first time I've ever been to uh, House of Parliament to watch cool. what was going on. Um, I guess it's a bit demoralizing to see people so uninterested in what the other people are saying. Only two people up there were respectful, and you can guess who those two are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I feel like the government is, is defending themselves with, with their own numbers and uh, with their own rhetoric. But the bottom line is that this budget doesn't work for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, and they have to change it. And uh, I don't think they will. I think they're going to face the, uh, the rage of the masses, and I don't think it might be in four years. I think it's going to be well before then. I think we're in for a little bit of a maybe a quiet revolution here in Newfoundland, and maybe a bit more than that. I'm not prophesizing violence, but people are angry, and when you push people who are just on the edge of going over the cliff financially, when you push them over, people get angry. So I guess I'll cut in here and I'll ask you a question, which is something that you're making me think of is, uh, Sometimes we hear a statement, just fight or flight is a choice, right? I guess that's what you're really saying, is that people will fight back rather than run or leave, yeah, which is what generally we've been hearing about up to now, people moving away from another choice. People are saying that they're going to move away, but I think people are going to try to fight first. Um, I mean, if you leave here, you're going to Alberta that's economically suffering, which is where we've gone for the past 15, 20 years. 30. <laughs> 30, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, people are going to try to fight it first because it's wrong. Um, yeah, we had to have cuts. There had to have, you know, some taxation has to happen. We're in a bad debt position. But it's like they're cutting off the arms and legs and leaving the torso. It's extreme. It's mm -hmm. too much. And when you go after the lowest income earners, you know, people are barely scraping by. That's when it's wrong. Mm. Uh, do you think they're going to push this through with a filler buster tonight then? No. With the Committee of the Whole? You don't? No. No. There's not that kind of energy up there tonight. Uh, no, I think they're, they're biding a bit of time. I, I think they're hoping to convince people that what they're doing is right. And I think the more time uh, they waste uh, trying to convince people, um, the more people are going to mobilize and okay. fight back. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Good luck to you. You too. See ya. So I'm taking statements from the public to go on to like a compilation video for YouTube. Mm -hmm. So say your piece. Well, I think uh, it's important for the, uh, the government to, uh, to listen to the people. Um, certainly, not like the government says, there are tough decisions to be made. Um, but for a government who has promised uh, consultation, I think it's important at this time when the general public are... Um, are at a heightened sense of uh, wanting to participate right now and be part of the decision making. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's now that the government needs to needs to listen to what the people are saying and, and trying to find a way forward that makes uh, makes uh, our, our fiscal future better, but also uh, deals with the is the serious concerns that the general public has at the moment. Were you following stuff at home before you came up here tonight? I was somewhat, yeah. So it's a committee of the whole. Do you think they're going to be able to? perhaps push the budget through as a like a part of a, a filibuster or something like that? Well, I, th I think just based on the, on the structure of government being majority government, uh, they certainly can uh, can pass through the budget. Uh, should not be a problem. Uh, however, I do think it's important for backbenchers, uh, liberal on the government side, uh, the gov governing party, uh, the backbenchers certainly have this very well within their right uh, to vote against measures or, or to at least push their, their party leader uh, for, for change, so I think that uh, the backbenchers of the Liberal Party also should be held accountable to I'd like to ask you too, who is your member? My member? Yeah. Uh, my member is uh, Ms. Lorraine Michael. Cool. Yep. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. You too. Cheers. Good work. Ooh, we're going to wait here in the cold for just a minute or two longer and see what happens because uh, I might well manage to catch a few more of the people coming out of the gallery here tonight, although I don't know. We'll see. Someone doing a picture in there now, actually. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like members of government here are a little tiny fucking. We'll see, we'll see. We will see something.
<laughs> Not the security cameras. Okay, I, I kind of I knew something must have been on the go during here. Because the cops were split between two places and now they're not. Oh, that looks like Jerry. That is Jerry Rogers. Hello, Pretty good. Yourself? Yeah. Long old night for you, eh? <laughs> yeah, you see you later. <laughs> God damn, I love security guards, I'll say. They're a crowd, man. They are a crowd not to be bugged with or uh, not to be forgotten. They're probably unionized in some good cases, too. Wait here for a minute or two more, see if there's any more public coming out.